Almost Monday morning, the Institute of South African Municipality Accounting Officers ensures professionalism and quality service delivery to communities. The organization recently announced municipalities which received clean audits. Mokhale City was amongst those for the second time in a row, making it the only municipality in Gauteng with this outcome. We are joined in studio now by Dan Mashitisha, the chairman of the Institute of the SA Municipal Accounting Officers. It's good to have you in Morning Life. Thank you very much for being with us. Yes, good morning. What are the norms and standards that have to be adhered to to receive um, a clean audit? What are they? Well, Leanne, um, the, 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 the institute oh. itself is about setting the, the norms and standards for the designation of the, the, the municipal manager. So we're sitting, we're professionalizing the, the, the designation of, a, of the, the municipal accounting officer, which is the municipal manager. Yeah. So we'll be setting norms, <coughs> standards, uh, procedures to say, if we, if, if we say uh, we need a municipal manager for this city, what are the norms, what are the standards, you know, in terms of the academic uh, qualifications, the, the, the experience, uh, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, so that is what the institute is about. We, we believe that once you have a highly qualified, highly competent, uh, and, uh, and ethically potent uh, municipal accounting officers, uh, then that would uh, translate into uh, also quality service delivery uh, to the communities. So if we look at, we look at some of the results from this now, and we can see, let's just first talk about Mokhali City. Um, mm -hmm. And we say, second time in a row, only municipality in Gauteng with this outcome. What, what are they doing right? I mean, what is, the, what is the, the, the thing that we can take out of them? Well, I think, Elian, uh, maybe I must correct one thing. Um, Mukhali City is not the only one in Gauteng. Oh, thank it's, you for it's, correcting it's, us. It's Mukhali City and Eguruleni. And Eguruleni, yes, of course. Yes. Of course it is, um, yes. Yes. Um, but I think uh, what happens in, 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 in uh, the audit, uh, auditing process of any municipality or any organization, they look at uh, the, 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 the way you manage your finances. Um, you know, the, are the books uh, balancing? How is the financial uh, management uh, happening within the organization? Um, issues of, you know, avoiding uh, unauthorized expenditure, you know, making sure that whatever you, you, you have in the budget you spend uh, accordingly with emphasis on service delivery. But there are also issues of com uh, uh, compliance. Yeah. Do you comply with the rules and regulations? I mean, in local government is highly regulated. So you, do you comply with those uh, rules and regulations? Uh, the other thing is, is performance, uh, the extent to which uh, the municipality is able to achieve according to a preset uh, standards mm, mm. Uh, and objectives. Yeah. So, so those are the three main uh, things. Um, but the, 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 the so the institute, because this is a this is a an institute, a professional institute of city managers, uh, municipal managers all around. So, our point is that if you in the country you have well over just over fifty percent of municipalities that are doing very well, okay? Now we have got the 278 municipalities in the country, but just over 50% are doing well. Doing well meaning they get unqualified audits, and with, within the unqualified audit, you of course have this uh, clean audit, which is, we can say, that's a distinction. Mm. But, but basically 50% of the municipalities are able to get uh, unqualified audits, which is, which, is, which is good. That's why in big companies, you never hear of, a company, they say clean audit. They just unqualified because yeah. once you get an unqualified audit, that that's pretty much uh, wonderful. But then, in government, unfortunately, then we, we or, or, or whatever, we we then go to say you no know, clean audit, which is really your distinction. So we are saying fifty percent of the municipalities in the country are, are getting unqualified audits, which is good. Now, as an institute, we are saying. Why don't we then go to those, the other 50 and, and assist there? Because it is not impossible uh, to get a, a clean audit and so on. So as an institute, 
because we are a repository of, of, of a, a highly comp competent uh, uh, managers, municipal managers, accounting officers. So we could then say, let's target, let's share best practices. Let's go to that municipality that gets a disclaimer and, and assist, you know. So, so this institute is going to assist in that, in that fashion. Yeah. So that as a collective, we don't just say, okay, in Mukhali City, because I get a clean audit, uh, then I don't care what's happening in Mafi King, uh, you know, what's happening in... So, so, so the institute is going to make sure that we share the best practices. And how do you work with the department? Because obviously you work very closely with the, the, the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs. I would imagine that's who you work with. Yes, we work with that department. In fact, uh, the minister, uh, uh, Honorable uh, uh, David Van Rooyen, uh, Des Van Rooyen, uh, he works very closely with us. He's with us even in this professionalization uh, 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 process. Uh, as we, national government set policies, <coughs> you know, at a high level, uh, you know, and, and strategies there, but then the implementation uh, has to happen in the municipalities. So COCTA plays uh, that role, they come up with legislation. That's why even with the prof this professional institute, we're saying we need to then come up with a, with a, with a, a legislative framework. Mm. Uh, which you could even call the, the profession of municipal accounting officers uh, act, if it gets to that. Yeah. So that yeah. the, it's, it's regulated, it's within a statutory framework. So those norms and standards are, are there. And then we create a council uh, that will enhance this professionalism. So that, for example, if a, a municipal manager uh, does badly uh, in, in one municipality, and, and they, they lose the job and so on. You cannot then go and be a municipal manager or city manager in another city. Because in a professionalized arrangement, we, we, we would make sure that you, 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 you know, we, don't, we don't transfer uh, you know, bad practices, but we only want to, 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 to cross-pollinate good practices. All right. Let's leave it there for this morning. I believe that there's also a, um, a conference coming up. It's going to be taking place very soon. When is it happening? It's happening today. So it is starting it, it today. It starts at nine. Okay. Uh, it will be uh, addressed by the minister uh, of Kokta, uh, Des Van Royen, uh, the premier of Gauteng, um, uh, the deputy minister of public service uh, administration, Ayanda uh, Lolo, okay. and uh, a whole host of, uh, prof of professors, uh, because this concept, uh, you know, we are, we, are, we are building it. So we, we work with the professional, with the uh, academics. Okay, yes. all right, let's leave it there. Thanks so much for talking to us here on the program. Uh, this is Dan uh, Moshitisho. He's the chair of the Institute of SA Municipal Accounting Officers, a conference taking place today addressing issues around municipalities in South Africa. 13 minutes before seven, let's take a break. When we return, Brexit.